What's up guys? Welcome back to Fender Control Gaming. This is Doug and welcome back to I Hate Timmy. So on this run of I Hate Timmy, my plan is to try to get Mutant Mary Jane. I've looked up what all the triggers are and I think I might have it. I know what I need to do. It's just a matter of doing it. So how'd you idiots do? No gas mask, no handbook, no suitcase, no bullets, no checkerboard. Ted, you suck. Yeah. Yay. All right. Get past this. Come on. Now, there's a lot. From what I understand from the wiki, there's about three different triggers for Mutant Mary Jane. One involves a pipe. One involves spiders, naturally. And one involves, uh, just bugs in general. So, if I get any of those, I know what to do. And I just told them to fuck with the radio, and somehow, miraculously, these dipshits didn't break it. Thank God I need to pay attention. Ha 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 ha, no! We're not eating wall mushrooms. That does not sound like a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> you will never I will never tell you to eat those. That's stupid. Yep. And here he is worrying about cutting his lawn. Cause, you know, priorities and stuff. Okay, day five. Time to feed the herd. We played a game of list of things you hate the most. Yeah, y'all all hate Ned. Go on, Dolores. She's gonna come back sick. Oh, sweet. Oh, a checkerboard. That's what I needed. Went and raid your neighbor and got a checkerboard. There's the Monty Python's Life of Brian reference. Don't have the handbook, though. Weekend? Nothing special happening so far. Yeah, y'all get into a fist fight with each other. I think Mary Jane's got this one. Fucking Ted. It's probably Ted's fault. Yes! Radio! Is this gonna be the fallout? Or is this gonna be the government's outfit? Government's out there, all right. Step one of the government ending. I still haven't recorded one of those. The easiest to get ending I have not gotten yet. Well, I guess the easiest to get ending is them starving to death, but the second easiest to get ending. Time to slop the pigs. And this should be the fallout trigger. And we can send Timmy outside to fail me miserably again. Yay! Alright, Timmy. You're up. There it goes again. Noises. Weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes? The walls? Is it something behind the door? We don't know and it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax. Otherwise, we might get paranoid. Play you some cards. You probably don't know what the pretty numbers are, but just just play some cards. Okay, Timmy. We both know you're gonna fail me miserably, but I'm gonna send you out there anyway. And you're gonna take the bug spray and come back this time, you little shit! Okay. Next up. Yo, got two more days, and y'all are fine. Just shut up. It's really weird when you get the feeling that something is watching you. Our shelter is tiny, but this has been bugging us for a while now. We checked all the closets, and no one's hiding there. Y'all have closets in your bomb shelter? <laughs> is there something alive down here besides us? Maybe a rodent of some kind? 
We need to show that we are the dominant species in this little paradise of ours. Well, break the gun. We both know you're gonna break the gun. Oh my god. <laughs> he didn't. Whatever it was, it's dead now. <laughs> Quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty little holes. Y'all got one more day. Shut up about wanting water. Mutated rodents are attacking our supplies. We're not sure if they're rats, feral bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. All these options are pretty grim. We could use spare ammunition or something to get help get rid of every one of these pests. Well, you don't have any ammunition. You have a gun. I guess you could swing it. Our cans are saved! Too bad for the hairy mutant. Okay. Slop the pigs again. When we opened the bunker door this morning, let in some fresh radioactive air. No, you are not opening the suitcase. Come on, Ted, that's dumb. Hey! You came back this time, you jackass! Good job! And you got a gas mask! You're not completely worthless after all. It turned out that calling an ambulance is not an option anymore. We reached the hospital. It's in ruins, but parts of it turned out to still be standing. More or less. We decided to go through the rubble and make the best of it. So you got one soup can, two water bottles, and a gas mask. And two more cans. Ha ha! So the bug spray worked out and got me these two. Alright, Timmy. You need to eat. You're a day late. I'm not answering the phone. I'm not doing it. No. That's the twins ending. And we already know from my last video, they're going to call me another 12 times. Like every three days, it's going to be the damn phone ringing again. And now that's the cat. And I don't want the cat. Because in reading the wiki, I found out, Ted is allergic to fucking cats. What's going on on the radio? Timmy's still tired. Oh, we need a map. Lucky. You actually have one, stupid. Timmy, hurry up and rest up, man. Yay! One more day. I guess we could prepare an expedition. <laughs> Alright, this is like the fourth time you've asked to use the radio. Are you going to break it this time? Sounds like something Ted would do. Hey, it's still here! Some friendly soul on the radio was talking about a supply pack she'd lost during a trip to her town. Oh my god, we got a Boy Scout manual. We have everything! Alright. Slop the pigs. Can't send Timmy, so Dolores, you're up. Take the gas mask. Huh, <laughs> knocky knock. It's the trader trying to sell me the cat. No! What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men. Just as they come from an evil fair. Nope! We got the other Monty Python reference. Follow me, guys. Take a look at my map. Yay! Soup! You're worried again about trimming your shrubbery? You just have the guys from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. They'll go get your shrubbery. Now Ted's tired. Wouldn't you know it, our dear Mary Jane keeps a diary. No, let's be nice to Mary Jane. I still want her to become mutant Mary Jane, and I don't think I've got that coming. She fed the pages after she set them on fire to a mutated rat. That's just, that's making sure, man. 
You gotta protect your secret. Dolores, welcome back. You broke the fucking gas mask. Ah. We found the Ten Cent Hotel in ruins. There was plenty to look through. Pieces of furniture, suitcases, and other hotel supplies. So why didn't you bring back the damn suitcase? They got one soup can, one water bottle, and you ruined the gas mask. Damn it, Dolores. Slop the pigs. Let's get an expedition going. Okay, so you, you, you want to have a little play. Well, play with the axe, Ted. We've already had you play with the gun, and I'm surprised you didn't shoot a hole in the shelter. Alright, Timmy. You're back up. Can't give you the gas mask, though. Take the bug spray. I do not think I'm getting the Mary Jane trigger. Don't think it's gonna happen on this one. But I'm still trying for the military ending. I still need that. Everything would be fine if it wasn't for Dolores. She doesn't seem well. She used to be so energetic and happy. Now she just sits there and sulks. Well, I got one option there, because Timmy has the bug spray. Not exactly sure how bug spray would actually cheer anybody up, but whatever. This family's not very smart. Giving Dolores a book seemed like a good idea. Another radio broadcast. Ah, gotta throw down the gun. Alright, that's what? Two more triggers now on the military? So I'm actually getting close to that one. Cool. All right, y'all got one more day, and then I'll feed you. How many water bottles do I have? All right, I can spare two, and I still have the whole big thing down there. Let's play a card game. Ted, are you feeling lucky? No, you're not. You suck, Ted. Damn it! That man must have cheated. We lost him before we could argue about it. The man left with our supplies. Ted, you suck. Move. Some door-to-door -door salesman found his way to our shelter. Okay. Oh, Astro Citizen. Well, I, let's give you soup. I have soup to spare. I don't think Timmy's coming back. We were we were generous, so we shared our supplies with him. He tried to make us believe that America has a working space station in orbit. Or rather, pad, since according to that guy, it exploded when the bombs dropped. How convenient! A working space station? What a joker. He's probably so hungry and dehydrated his brain started playing tricks on him. The Thunderdome! Back to the Thunderdome. Oh my god, Timmy! Timmy, you brought water! Good boy. Uh-oh. We've been followed. We were happy to find the fire station in our town is at least semi-operational, even after the apocalypse. Let's see, three water bottles. Bug spray didn't come back. Great. Alright, Timmy. You're up. No, I'm not answering the phone. That's the twins. We've done the twins. Come on now, Ted. I need two things. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby. No, we're not gonna rob the retirement home. They'll kill you anyway. They're in better shape, Ted. Come on, man. We're not savages, Ted. Gah. Play a game, they said. It'll be fun, they said. You're gonna play I Spot. Day 35. Yep, they played I Spy. 
All right, kiddos. Time to feed the sheep. Uh, rest up, Timmy. After Dolores returned from that last expedition, she was complaining of a minor foot injury. It might have been her right foot, or maybe her left foot. One of them, anyway. I really don't want to waste my medkit on that. Come on, Ted. There is nothing a few pills won't solve. Keeping a well-stocked first aid kit should have been our should be our number one priority. Dolores is better now, and let's hope it stays that way. Timmy, you're hungry? I just fed you. Seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Maybe it's not. We won't know until we go out. Timmy's still tired. Planet of the Apes barbecue? Not getting anywhere, guys. Come on now. The situation is simple. We're bored, it's too quiet, and we're desperately craving entertainment. The solution seems simple. Somebody could give our old harmonica a spin, but who is best suited to give us a high quality mouth organ concert? The decision has to be made. Well, Mary Jane plays the tuba. I know it's nothing like the harmonica, but at least she has some musical acclination. Mary Jane volunteered eagerly. It's obvious she really misses her tuba. She spent a few hours she spent a few hours trying to remember all the songs she used to play and writing down the notes. In the end, she was too tired to actually try playing any of the songs she wrote and just fell asleep. Two more days. No. 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 Don't want the cat. No. No. Okay, one more day. Y'all get fed on the five. Survival of the fittest and all. All right, day 40. Da -da -da -da. Do -do -do -do. Come on, piggies. Eat up. We took some time examining our map and found it had some abnormal scri symbols scribbled in a few places. It appeared as if someone had hidden something in the area and provided directions to it. Should we send someone to investigate? Well, go on, Dolores. You look happy to be here. Well, she came back. Those map directions were a cruel joke. Or just a child's playful imagination. We found nothing and only wasted our afternoon running around. Terrific. Come on, Timmy. Are the walls closing in on us? <laughs> Is the space getting smaller with every passing minute? We need to get out of here! Now! Open the door! Open the damn door! I don't think this is a good idea, but let's do it. Oh, fuck you, Ted! Opening the door and letting contaminated air in was a great idea! Now, instead of phobias, we need to deal with vomiting! Fucking Ted. And we're not answering the phone. That's number three. Ted's gonna die. Ted's gonna die. Timmy, are you in good health? Alright, Timmy, you're up for a... You're up for a thing tomorrow. The tension in his shelter has been rising ever since the unfortunate panic attack and opening of the door incident. Dolores has been mad about this and she's not giving it up. We will end up fighting unless we talk it over, should we? Yeah, talk it over. Talk to your wife. I'm not surprised I have to tell you to talk to your wife because I have to tell you to talk to your fucking kids. Ted, you suck. God, you're stupid. Sorry. Timmy's really tired. Timmy wasn't tired yesterday. Eat up, Timmy. Everybody else can wait till tomorrow. Son of a bitch! Never mind. They're all sleepy. 
<sighs> what a bunch of assholes. Alright, get you all back even. There's everybody. Let's try again tomorrow. A uh, gang of firefighters outside. Or at least they're dressed like firefighters. They've been banging on our door, ordering us to surrender all of our supplies. They claim they will drive us out with fire if we don't comply. Guess the definition of a firefighter has somewhat changed recently. How do we oppose them? With a lock. Because we don't have a whole lot of other options. Well, the rock lock is broken. Dolores, you're still hungry? Ah, eh, we can fix that. And no one's able to go outside. Can't get more shit. You need supplies. Come on now. We've discussed everything we could, and no one's willing to chat anymore. The silence is really disturbing. All right. This is, what, attempt number six of messing with the radio? And somehow y'all still haven't broken it. Ted, did you finally, you know, learn something? Ah, nobody can go outside. Come on now. Y'all got one more day. There was another military announcement on the radio. The soldiers are nearby and ordering a single person from each survivor group to meet them and outline the group's situation. This is a bit odd. We do hope they mean well. It's still pretty much the only thing we can do, so it's probably worth sending someone over. Well, Ted, you're sick. You go. Do you die? I don't care. Hey, came back. We managed to make it to the meeting in time. We tried our best to answer the questions the soldiers asked us. Let's hope we fulfilled their expectations and our ragged appearance didn't make a bad impression. Ted! You might actually live. And nobody can go outside? Ever since we jumped into the fallout shelter, we've been wondering about that other door in the shelter. Should it even be here? Where does it lead? It's high time we checked it out. It leads into the space between the walls. The labyrinth. We do not talk of the house. Hey, a gun! While looking through the room with the flashlight, we ran into an old rifle that used to belong to Grandpa Bill. We believe he brought it back from Europe after World War I. It seems to be in working order, even though in his final years, Bill was more concerned with smoking like a chimney and trying on his beret. Cool. No one's able to go outside. God damn it. And the phone's ringing again. Twins really want me. Well, Ted, I don't have anything for you. Well, we're not going to answer that phone call. Skip that shit. I don't want the twins ending again. How are you still alive, Ted? Oh, you moved past sick and into disease. Good boy. Ted might be able to survive an expedition. We have a situation on our hands. There's a group approaching our shelter and they don't seem to like the occasional friendly scavengers you run into. Not at all. They look like they're out for blood. Or cans. Probably cans. This is a terrible time for humanity if canned soup is enough to turn us into monsters. Anyway, we need to defend ourselves. Gun time. Glad you just found that gun. Even though you don't have any bullets, how'd you break it without bullets? It's not surprising that a few shots were enough to send those cowards running. The question is, what happens if the rifle malfunctions or we use all of our ammo? We do hope it won't come to that. Otherwise, we might need to defend ourselves using knives and forts. You got one more day. Dead. We'll send you outside. Definitely not with my axe, though. Go on, buddy. 
If he comes back, he comes back with supplies. If he doesn't come back, he doesn't die in the house. Okay. Y'all need to eat. Well, how about we put that radio to good use? Something might be on the air even now. Well, that's a different one. Radio is still not broken. We were able to tune in and get rid of just enough static to listen to a very energetic and lively speaker. He seemed well informed and mentioned a few helpful tips that should make it easier for us to survive the next expedition. Cool. Well, I wonder if that's going to benefit Ted at all. I don't have any more food. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal. You're not going into Nevada. Unless they take you to Area 51. Come on. Well, I can't give you food for the cat anyway. That's like the, what, the third or fourth time they tried to give me the cat? Ted? How did you do that? How? We quickly discovered that the loyal supermarket Loyal. Local supermarket has become the base of operations for a raider group. They are armed and dangerous. Sometimes they would leave to plunder and ransack the area. Even if it's risky, that was the best time to try to steal from them. Cool. We got six water, four food, and another gun. And a bug spray. Damn, Ted. How? How, how did you accomplish that? Ted, my man! We've heard some commotion above and we're pretty sure it's a band of raiders. Venturing outside might be quite dangerous right now. Bandit camp nearby is causing a lot of trouble. Not only are they armed, dangerous, cruel, and bloodthirsty, they're also loud and obnoxious. We should respect their right to party, but not at the cost of our beauty sleep. Something needs to be done. Well, you just stole a gun from them. And you broke that gun. Again. What is this, the third gun I've lost? We won the battle! Those bandits were no match for us. We quickly overpowered them and forced them out of the camp. We were quite exhausted, but it was definitely worth it. We hope they won't bother us for a while. Okay. Everybody eat. We're gonna send Timmy outside in a minute. Oh, great. Y'all can't sleep. You're about to stop me from sending Timmy outside. Yep. Ted! Sick and crazy! You the man! <sighs> I bet you are feeling pretty optimistic about that expedition. That none of you can go on. Oh! We got a door knock! Is it the army? Is it the army? No. We woke up to the sound of banging on our door. Someone has been at it like there's no tomorrow. In a manner of speaking, that might be true. Shall we open the door? I think we might have gotten it, guys. Day in. It's the military. We made it. We got rescued by our brave military. We honestly shed tears of joy when we saw those handsome uniforms covered with radioactive goo. Let's hope this is the end of our desperate survival, and we can ha finally have a fresh start. Yes! The most common and easiest to get ending, I finally got. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more of this, subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. I really do hope I get to see you in the next one.